This is a story that has got some long legs to it. Somebody sent me a, a, a post about it, and I've just had a quick scan for the last 10 minutes on Google and Safari. It's a strange sort of story, but it's one about um, this young girl and 22 others. Um, from what I'm gathering, nobody seems to know what is actually happening. And to say that, like it says in here, in the Herald, and this was on the, in 2012, I can't find any later, much after that, except for 2014. But it says, one devastating fantasy, the, in the impact of an internet scandal. So, when you look at this, and you see all the, uh, yeah, the reams and reams and reams of posts that you can Google, you put the name in of the young lady and you Google it. It's just it's just tons of information. My first good sense on this is how the hell can something like this happen and develop its own life, recreating itself? And one of the things that's said further on down is trial by internet and harassment by internet. That I don't agree with. Every single day when they get the major headlines in the newspapers and on the te television, every one of them, all of them, have a go at somebody or reveal news about something, about somebody or something. So that's harassment in itself. When you think about it. It's just a little bit different. You know, harassment, harassment, harassment. They're all different states of harassment. But you can't get any bigger than worldwide. But the internet for this young lady, and apparently the other 22 victims, or no, seven children labelled victims, 22 tarnishes live, tarnished lives. A business forced to close, a nation's reputation tarnished. Scotland, again. <laughs> People jailed, apparently the mother's being jailed of this young lady. And... <laughs> What can, what can, the only thing you can do about this is just take a step back, start reading all the information that's out there. And that's the only way. You, but then you can't go any further because I've looked. It stopped suddenly around 2014. But I'll start looking again. And this young lady who has Down syndrome is just astonishing. If this is all true, I mean, there, the cover up. Stretches up to the Lord Advocate's office. Again, Scotland. What is it with Scotland? The, I, I cannot go in Scotland and rarely do I meet. Or I, I rarely do I find people who are just rude. People who are just not very nice. I find lots of people extremely friendly and extremely nice. In the open. And that's not me looking through rose-tinted glasses. No. That's what it happens. And to find all of these stories, especially the fraud and the sexual impropriety and the paedophiles in Scotland, especially in position of power, is disturbing, greatly disturbing to say the least. So I'm going to look at this one a little bit longer and see what I can find about it, because <laughs> all these abusers are part of a much bigger group that has tentacles throughout the echelons of the British establishment. Which is why, from the offset, Holly's campaign has attracted their most trusted agents. <sighs> I don't know. There's a lot to read through, and I'm going to be doing that. If anybody can find any other information about this, then... Please let me know. That would be great. Oops, wrong page. I've done it again.